Hey guys! Welcome to the new video. Today we're going to talk about what Amber has been eating on camera recently. As we all know she hasn't really lost any weight even thought she tracks every day. Let's explore why together. Hello, hi! So I just got home from bingo. I lost. My mom actually won once, so good for her. I'm actually drinking tonight. This is my favorite. It's the Choco Chiller Buzz Ball. You're supposed to shake it before you have it. I figured let's have our first uh, little sip together. Wait a minute, you guys are probably cold in there, so I'll take you out. And I'll sit you on top of my air fryer. That sounds like a plan. Oh my God, I can't get my finger under there. Okay, so first drink, cheers. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. It's supposed to help with that, but honestly, I just use my teeth. Okay, so we're starting this strong with this one. I won't mention it every time, but before the new year, she started drinking a lot almost every day. Know her addictive personality. This could easily become a dependency. It also contains a lot of calories. Got some fried rice, shrimp, and beef and broccoli. So I'm finished eating. My fortune says, seek guidance where you can this week. Okay, Panda Express. Okay, so we got Starbucks and um, I got a iced coffee with caramel and i'm afraid i'm not gonna like it my mom got this like peppermint moment well there's no peppermint on there she said do you not go to starbucks often she she told the guy where's the peppermint <laughs> it's literally in it oh my god so we're gonna do a taste test or i am at least oh <gasps> wait it's actually good i was scared my mom was thinking i wasn't gonna like it it has caramel and i was like extra caramel please and thank you yeah i needed some coffee to pet my step a little bit are you gonna do a taste test for us <laughs> wish you guys could see her face so weird <laughs> she's opening the straw she's taking the wrapper off the straw oh lord <laughs> i thought there'd be peppermint she's trying it it's kind of icky you want to try mine try that one okay we're doing swapsies it's kind of icky amber it's a little dirty. <laughs> it's a little dirty. So we're at Panda Express. I got chow mein and the uh, broccoli with beef because I'm obsessed with the broccoli. So good. Ever since she moved, she's has been going out a lot with her mom. The museums, the casino, the bingo place are places she visited since the beginning of the year and in some way that good for her, she's getting a little exercising done. On the other part, I assume that they also eat out every time they hang out. And as you can see, she doesn't really make the best decisions about food. So this is probably going to gross everyone out, which I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I made some chicken salad. It's just pretty simple chicken salad, but I will say it's delicious. And I usually like to dip like crackers in there, but I was like, okay, what's something I could do? That would just be a little better for me, but isn't like a celery stick or, I mean, you could do like carrots and stuff. I've been loving cheese sticks lately. So I was like, why not do a cheese stick? You guys, it's honestly so good. Oh yeah, that slaps. Personal charcuterie board that literally is going to be knockoff charcuterie board because it's not going to be that great. So I have like a whole charcuterie board set up, to be honest. I have a whole moment. This big guy... But I'm going to use this small, the small fella. So I'm going to show you everything I'm going to have on the plates. So in my last vlog, I hauled these for you guys. They're salted garlic chips. I still have not tried them. So I'm definitely going to try these. Now let's go into my fridge. Obviously, we're going to have some salami. This is port wine cheese spread with like almonds. So we're going to have some of that. So we have uh, Kalmata olives, but I also have green olives. So I'm going to be doing those. And then over here in my wannabe pantry, I have these pretzels that I also got. Pink Himalayan salts, multi-grain flatbread. So now I'm going to assemble it. I'm going to put you guys on my little tripod. Okay, first things first, let's add the cheese. Now we're going to add some salami. I promise if I was doing this for like 
a get together and not just by myself. I would like be decorative. Like I would fold them. I would have like fruit and veggie. And before anyone says anything, no, I'm not gonna eat all this cheese. That would literally make me sick. I just did it, you know, cause it looks cute. So next is some of the olives. Just gonna add there. I'm also gonna put the green olives here. I only need a few. And then I'm gonna take some of the crackers. They're actually a lot longer than I was expecting them to be. And then some of these garlic chips. Oh my God, this looks so bad. Like I need something here. If I could have anything here right now, it would definitely be strawberries, but we're gonna stick with something else. They're like hot tamales. They're like little candies. Okay, this doesn't look half bad. I'm not gonna lie. I do have like a little cheese spreader. Let me see if I can find it. So I can't really show you guys where it's gonna fall but you guys already saw what it looked like while i eat i'm actually going to be watching the new uh squid games the challenge okay let's taste test a garlic chip like what is that okay texture is crunchy flavor is garlicky she's good now i'm gonna take my little cheese spreader and we're about to spread some cheese you know what i'm saying oh my god the cracker is gonna crack Oh, told you. How about let's just like dollop it on there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I've ever had this cheese before. Sounds familiar. Who knows? But let's do a taste test. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. That's so good. So we got the salami there. We're gonna have an olive. Alright. Cheers. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay, so I ate all of the salami and the olives and that's everything else I have left. So I'm just going to go put the cheese back in the fridge and that was a really good meal. It was very satisfying. This has to be the ugliest charcuterie board I've ever seen. I know it was only for her or whatever, but they're supposed to be somewhat aesthetic. So as you guys know, I discovered Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze, which is literally the best. I started drinking it. I started becoming obsessed with it. And people were like, Amberlynn, you don't actually need that. Maybe I don't. But I will say what I have noticed is ever since I started drinking these, I feel more hydrated and I don't really get Charlie horses in my legs anymore. So I am trying to like be up, moving, doing more. So when that happens, sometimes at night while I'm sleeping, I get Charlie horses. But ever since I started drinking this... I don't get them anymore. But then I sadly went to the store and they didn't have Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze. And I was like, crap, what do I do? So I ended up being without these for like a week and I started getting Charlie horses again. And I was like, is this a coincidence? I don't know. So I said, screw it. Since I can't get the Zero, I'll just get the regular one, which does suck, I will say, because it's like, like look at those carbs, look at the sugars, look at the calories. The one I usually drink has Zero all of that. And it's crazy, but I prefer the Zero. Like this one, it tastes great. Like I love it, I'm obsessed. I'm definitely gonna drink them, but the other one tastes so much better. Blue Gatorade, no matter the flavor, whether it's ice or cool, is the superior color of Gatorade. And yes, I will fight over this. So my chili is almost done. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes now. So I'd say it probably has about 10 more. Hello, <laughs> hey. I'm actually about to just have some of these hot tamales. I used to eat these as a little girl. Let's do like a random little story time. So my dad, when I was younger, um, when I lived with him, yes, I was in foster care. People get confused because like I'll share stories about like foster care and then like times where I lived with my parents. And I'm like, yes, both of those things happened. Long story short. Her dad had a business and there was a candy machine with the candy she's eating right now. Okay, next. Um, we're gonna do a Taco Bell haul. Um, yeah, so I was massively craving, they're just like chips and nachos, so you just get those little chips and nachos, <laughs> okay. Chips and cheese. And then the little bit of chips that we got there. And yes, um, it's actually 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> Oh boy. And I got two of these tacos because they're like my favorite. It's just like the regular hard taco, but it's like the the cheese one. So you guys have seen me like do a mukbang of this. 
that's bomb. I found some chips at the bottom of the bag, so score for me. Anyways, I don't know. Hi. I'm not doing Vlogmas this year. It's been weird for me. Everyone just uploaded their first Vlogmas video. And I am like, oh, that was once going to be me. That once was me. And instead, I am eating Taco Bell in my bed. Hmm. Hello. So it's been like 10 minutes. These chips are the grossest things I've ever tasted. I was looking forward to this more than anything else. They taste like poisoned, bitter oil chips. Since most of my meal sucked, um, I'm gonna have a few pieces of salami. So, huh. Salami is so good. Like I realized everything about salami is the very thing that I hate in life. Cold, gross, red looking meat that is just everything I hate. Really, really, truly like, ew. But I grew up on it. So I'm used to it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. It's not healthy by any means, but she's tasty. So yes, salami instead of poisoned chip oil. So I'm feeling a little hungry. I noticed that a lot of the foods that I'm eating lately, very high in sodium. Here's a beautiful example of that. My favorite freaking pickle ever. So I am a texture girly. This right here. It's the Vlasic Big Crunch Snackums Kosher Dill. This is the way to go. So good. I've also come to the terms that I really like the cool blue Gatorade as well. So that's a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna have a pineapple colada buzz ball. And I think I'm also gonna have some salami and some of this garlic and herb cheese spread with some crackers. And I'm gonna watch my show. It's gonna be a time, I promise. Cheers. We just have to be on guard. It's crazy how all of her favorite food are so high in sodium. She's is someone who retains a lot of water and all she eats is salt. Of course you're gonna be swollen all day every day. She cannot have a simple vegetable without dip. I cannot take her seriously when she cries about her legs when she thinks it's cute to eat like that. But your girl's craving carbs. So I'm currently just boiling some elbow pasta here. And then I'm gonna add some of this unsalted butter, garlic salt, grated Parmesan cheese, and some tapatio. And it's gonna be great, I promise. This is the pasta I'm using, Barilla elbows. So one thing about me is I do like my pasta al dente. I do not like it squishy, no, and smushy, no. Let me try one here. That is pretty close to perfect. So let me let it boil for another, I'd say, minute or so. Okay, I'm gonna take this and strain it. I'll be right back. I left the tiniest bit of water in there. I'm going to add the butter, garlic salt, the Parmesan, and the tapatio. And then I just continuously stir it usually takes a few minutes. So as it does its thing, I'm actually just going to turn off the burner because the heat will stay. I made this, I want to say like a week ago, and it was so delicious. I was like, okay. All right. So here is my pasta. I promise <laughs> it might not look the greatest, but it tastes so good. I cook a lot for one person because I'm used to cooking for two people. But one thing I am proud of, like you guys, a few years ago, like I would have made too much, ate the whole thing, but this is how much that I am saving for tomorrow. I will say I do have a bad habit of always putting all of my food in one bowl when it's like obvious I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Maybe it's because like for me, it's satisfying knowing like, I can stop myself now from eating the whole thing. Whereas years ago, your girl would have ate this whole bowl. Currently on my third buzz ball. Just kind of enjoying the night. This has to be the driest pasta I've ever seen. A little cream, a little tomato sauce. No. Okay. 
Is she? Oh my gosh, do I want more chicken already? I should probably warm this up. I don't usually eat cold chicken like this. Like, what am I doing? Wow. Uh, Walmart. I went to Walmart and tonight for dinner, I'm actually having a rotisserie chicken. So I just got some lemon pepper flavored rotisserie chicken. I'm so excited. And I'm also going to have some stovetop stuffing, which you guys know I love. So tonight's dinner is going to slap. Rotisserie chicken. So good. Okay, I have my second one. The Lime Rita Chiller, which I've had before. So someone on actually Instagram told me, try the watermelon. So you have the watermelon and you're supposed to shake them. All right. It exploded all over me. Mmm, it smells really good. Wow. Oh my God. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Wait, this is so good. This okay, so we are now drinking my choco chiller which has always been my my favorite but i need my hair up so i'll be right back became a thing so i think the next one i'm gonna try which is gonna be my fifth one and possibly my last strawberry rita shaker shaker real good opener and she squirts and she gets my fingers wet <laughs> all right it smells good Tastes even better. Oh my God, this tastes so good. I still have one in my fridge. It's like the Choco something or other. I got a Lime Rita and a Sour Apple. So I think I'm gonna keep the Lime Rita out. So I'm gonna drink that now. Put the rest in my fridge. Now let's do the Jack in a Box taste test. All right, so I've never had these before. When I lived in California and Arizona, I had Jack in a Box kind of a lot, but I always had their like taco moment. Definitely never had these. So they're, what are they called? Stuffed jalapenos. So that's literally all it is. Mmm, look at that. Wow, this is so unhealthy. She drank five buzz balls the day before. Now she drinks another one the next day and it's probably not the only one. She is also eating Jack in the box. Girl. The good old butter knives. Cheers and happy new years. Spending it alone. I'm back on my shit with the cottage cheese and mustard. So for dinner tonight, I'm having turkey, kielbasa, broccoli, peppers, celery, carrots, asparagus, pickles, radish, um, green olives with garlic, and of course, the mustard and cottage cheese. I have not had this in forever. Again, some chicken sausage and broccoli. Oh my God. This actually, this chicken sausage might be one of my favorites. Okay, we need to try this for a vlog. This lighting though is not cute. So I'm gonna take some sour cream. Yes, I am. I'm gonna open it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink it, okay? Just kidding. I'm gonna come in here. And I'm gonna get this restaurant style dressing ranch. I'm gonna open her up. I'm gonna add her into the sour cream. I have no idea how much, so I don't remember. <laughs> Look at that. Ew. So now I'm gonna sit here and stir this for probably a hot minute. All right, so I stirred it and it looks like a dip. So she took some of these like sweet mini bell pepper thingies. And if you guys know me, you know that I love these so much. So I was like, I gotta try this. She just dipped it and she said it was really good. So here we go. What? Holy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's my new favorite snack. Wow, that's great. It's chip and dip, or vegetable and dip. What do you think your friend invented there? So I just tried this Starbucks Frappuccino chilled coffee drink and caramel. Normally I get the vanilla. This is not worth 300 calories and this was almost $5. $5 for this guy. Okay, so the first thing I'm having today is this Gatorade Zero. 
It's in Glacier Freeze, which is one of my favorites. Um, I've been awake for a couple hours now and I'm not feeling hungry. I'm just feeling thirsty, so. So good. Okay, you guys, so I got some Mediterranean food. This is rice with some chicken. And I thought it was gonna be cubes of chicken, but it's like this big chunk. So we'll see what I think of that. And then I got to choose between super salad and I chose Greek salad, of course. Love me a salad. And uh, I have this like really bad habit where I need something sweet after I eat. So I got this red velvet thing. Do I need it? No. Am I gonna have some of it? Yes. Is it Amberlynn approved? I think so. Do I want it a little bit more dry? Yes. Salad? Oh yeah, that salad slaps. There's like no attractive way to eat a salad. The salad looks good. I'm not so sure about the meal. I'm sure it's very good, but in that tray, it looks like it came out of the microwave. It looks like she hates it. I am having a Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Cherry with my food. Currently, this is my favorite drink. She's tasty. That's fine. I have no idea what it is, but let's go. Ooh. What is that? It kind of tastes like a chocolate pie. It is a Sprite, zero sugar. I actually just ordered something to eat, so I'll show you guys that. When it gets here, it's probably gonna be my last. Okay, so I ordered ramen, but it's like a ramen with no broth. It's like a carbonara, spicy chicken ramen. I've had it a couple times and it's honestly so freaking delicious, but there's always a way where I can show my face, but also show my food at the same time, but I don't have that type of angle right now. She's tasty. This is also another food that you just can't look pretty while eating it. The next thing I am having is another Gatorade Zero. That was a loud swallow. She basically ate takeout the whole day.